Welcome to Life Verbs Podcast, an inner and personal development podcast designed to hydrate your soul, fortify your spirit, and to enhance your inner awareness. I am your host and creator, Coach Zen. You all, a certified life, spiritual, and NLP coach and practitioner, also certified in the adult chair model. And I am here to support you in navigating life's experiences. And today, you all, I am ecstatic because we have Lynn Gaffney here, Recce Master. And I'm going to tell you something about him. Lynn Gaffney is a certified Recce Master, Master Intuitive, and Master Teacher, and is currently the co-owner of the Healing Environment Center that's located right here in Smyrna, Georgia. For those of you who listen to this and you'll know where Smyrna is, it's still in Atlanta, okay? (laughs) Atlanta likes to divide itself in many cities and towns. Is that right, Liz? For whatever reason they do it for. Um, With his wife and life partner, the beautiful, the fabulous, amazing Jamaica McDaniel. Lynn's hometown is Dayton, Ohio, very close to where I'm from. Yes. (laughs) Love it. And Lynn enlisted in the Air Force, which in my opinion is the best part of the military. I'm a little biased, okay? In his early 20s and after spending seven and a half years there and obtaining a degree in electronic systems technology, Lynn went on to work for NASA for 11 years. I just got to pause right there, Lynn, because I've never shared this with you. I always wanted to work for NASA. Really? I love NASA space. Like it was like the cosmos. So we're going to have to have some conversation in regards to that because that is like, oh, for me. Okay. At the age of 38 years old, Energetic changes started naturally happening to Lynn and not by coincidence because nothing is, right? Right. People started being universally placed in his life to take him to the next level of his spiritual development. This life force energy inside of him was strong and intense and he needed a way of honing this energy and controlling it. Both Lynn and Jamaica went to the same high school in Dayton, Ohio, but they met again at their 30-year high school reunion 30 years later. Yes. Yes. Wow. It was with the help of his wife, Jamaica, that he was led to enroll in a recce course. One, divine. Once he enrolled in the level one course, he immediately connected with what this life force energy was, you all, it provided the why. And he learned to harness it with mere thought and control it. He then completed and got certified as a recce master, a master, you all, soon after. He has been a recce master for eight years. And within that time, he sought to make a connection scientifically on what this life force energy was from a quantum perspective. So he completed several courses on quantum entanglement and neurosciences. I love neuroscience, so we're going to have fun today because I'm a neuroscience nerd. I love it. Lynn has one stepson, David, and two grandchildren, Sophia and Kendall. You all welcome the amazing, I know y'all got questions already, Lynn (laughs) Gaffney. Thank you so much. So honored to be here, Zen. So honored to be here, Coach Zen. I mean, this is what I've been waiting for. And I think this has been in the books for a couple of months there. And I've been sort of itching and itching. And so I'm, I'm so, okay, you got to be present. But now it's, it was getting too closer. And so I'm, I'm getting my, 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 my mind and my spirit connected to see what. And so we're all in. Let, let, let's go deep. 
Yeah, okay. we're gonna get deep. We're gonna yeah. get deep, Lynn. We definitely gonna. I got. I, I'm a Scorpio stallion, so we're gonna get yeah. very deep in conversation. I love it, Lynn. So many questions mm -hmm. that I have, but I'll begin with this. I would love for you to introduce the beautiful gem that we are so blessed to have. And we thank you and Jamaica for opening this, the healing environment. I would love for you to share the healing environment with our audience, just giving us a brief description as to what the space is for, the mission of the space and who it's for. So, so it, it, it's, it's really, really interesting. And, and it's an amazing story and journey for both my wife, Jamaica, and myself. And, and so, uh, like I said, she knew me in high school. She claims that she had a crush on me, but I don't, I don't believe that. But, you know, everybody had a crush on her. And, and I gave her a couple of rides in my old hoopty back in the day. Not but, the hoopty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so, but, but, but she was born with a clear connection. And so this has been a, a goal and, 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 a, and a purpose of Jamaica since she was a child. And so she visualized the healing environment center, you know, six years old in the closet, you know, and, and so, you know, and, and so fast forward 38 years later when I started my journey, you know, and, and, and cause I had no idea that I was this person that was sort of born here to have this purpose, you know? And so, and so our overall goal and mission is to really help those on their healing journeys, no matter what level they are, you know, energetically drawn to it. We, we're there to help them in any way imaginable. We are uh, opening our doors to all types of sort of healing practitioners and, and everything. And, and, and I think it's been an absolutely amazing journey for the past year with a little bit over a year now, celebrating a year anniversary. And it has been absolutely phenomenal. And, 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 and so she sort of held down the fort all last year. And then I sort of transferred over uh, the end of August of last year when I walked away from my corporate job. And, uh, and that's another story in itself, but, but really to really step into this, this this purpose fully and embrace it and and it has been an absolutely phenomenal experience so far about what we're designed to do and and how we can really help those from energetic level and healing and progressing them forward and really and fostering and supporting anybody who has empathic gifts and all of that and supporting that and so uh it's been it's been a phenomenal phenomenal experience so far Thank you so much. And can you also please share, because at the healing environment, you all, this literally is the most vast wellness center that I have ever encountered. You have an apothecary, you have a stone shop, you're the recce master, you do energy work, you have others that do some energy work. I do the life coaching there, healing massages, anything else I'm leaving out, there's a lot. I know we, I didn't get everything, Lynn. We, we have a person that has a connection uh, and, and she has an ancient sort of indigenous lineage and she does a lot of soul soul work from the feet. There's a lot of sort of nerve nerve endings in the feet that attach to every part of the body and she can connect and she does a fabulous job of that. We have we have we we have a practitioner that actually does chakra alignments and, and really engaged in that. And our massage therapist is has this Reiki life force energy flowing through her. So she's able to channel that and her massages are are different than normal normal massage. And so and then we have yoga practices all through the week, uh, 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 Qigong, we have that coming in and, and on Thursdays and Fridays. And we have, and then we have a number of multitude of events that we have during the month and all of that. So it is, it is, it is exciting. 2023 is going to be super exciting for us and, and really, really growing and expanding and getting this energetic footprint out there. 1,000%, 1,000%. And I even met with one of the practitioners there. You all just want to speak on this very briefly. Um, one of the practitioners was so nice to come in when I had my event there over the weekend. 
and the practitioner was taking their fingers and just going around my fingers and they're like oh there's a lot of energy right there and they said something with the family member occurred this week they were right on like i'm telling you you all this is where you want to be those of you who live in the state of georgia get to smyrna georgia look it up the healing environment the address at 1675 cumberland 1675 Cumberland Parkway. Okay. Suite 202, uh, Smyrna, Georgia 30080. And uh it's it's right there. I mean, you'll you'll feel the energy as you walk towards it. Yes. And and it, and it's 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 really magnetic. It really is you all. So definitely get there. You're visiting Atlanta, you're visiting Georgia. Like I said, it's in the Atlanta area. Smyrna, Georgia is you definitely this has to be on your list for a place to go to, okay? Yeah, and, and my it's wife, to make it, is sort of the oracle of a place. I mean, she has a connection with spirit, and she doesn't brag about it, but it is so strong since, since she was a kid. And so you can walk in, and she automatically tunes in and knows exactly what you need, even if you're not really revealing everything that you need. And so she has a way of, of, of sort of steering you towards the the, the 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 proper healing practitioner that will be able to help you and it is I mean that's I mean she does her job I mean she does she, she just she's all in and and she's amazing so she does she sure is she sure is we love you Jamaica we do yes. absolutely amazing both of you are so I would love for you Lynn to talk about what Recce is and how can it support one on their journey. I consistently recommend this to my clients because it is so necessary because when it comes to personal development, inner development and your healing, it takes a village. It's not just working with a therapist over here, a coach over here, recce master over here, practitioner over here. It literally takes a whole village. It's holistic health. So I would love for you to share that with us. Sure. And so, and so the term Reiki uh, is a Japanese term and it means life force energy. And, and, and a Japanese monk in the 1920s, uh, he sort of went up in a, in a mountain in Japan and in a cave for 21 days and he meditated, right? And so he came out with this rediscovered Reiki sort of and you know energy that came down. And, he, and then he started to put sort of things together from an application standpoint for people to work through and to really develop themselves on this. But this energy is thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years old. And it's been, it's been here since the dawn of civilization and the dawn of creation. This life force energy flows through everything. So this life force, and, and, so, and so those who, who understand Christ, you know, Jesus, uh, his real name is uh, Yeshua. He was, you know, his mother, you know, and 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 his mother had a, had had a brother uh, that that was really rich in tin, and he mined tin back in that day. And then when 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 Christ was young, uh, she they went all around, all around, and he, to, to number one hide him because you know Herod and all of it was out to 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 really kill him. But number two, to get trained. So, so Christ went to Egypt for a period of time, uh, back in right, right today, and 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 Copto, you know, Cairo. There is a room, a museum, where Mary and Jesus stayed, and it's right there today. And and if you go to Coptic Cairo and visit that, you'll see it's a monument, it's a museum of where Christ stayed. And he stayed there and got trained on the Egyptian mysteries. He also went to India and got trained on Hindu practices and, and, and really mysteries. He got trained with the Essenes. The Essenes were a group of Gnostics that, 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 that knew mathematics, knew uh, uh, astrology and, and the stars. And they also knew how to raise people from the dead. And, and so all of these things that Christ had, 
You think he just was born with them or he 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 had the ability to learn them, but he also acquired he also was taught these. And the one in the one place he did all he went was he went to Tibet and he learned Reiki energy healing from the monks. And so this and so and so Christ talked about the circle of energy in his hands. Right. And that's what this energy is. So when, when this energy and I call this energy, it, it, it starts in my hands as a circle of energy. Right. And so what actually it is, is 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 an electromagnetic field. And this energy flows through everything. Right. Everything. So everything is energy for one thing. So everything is a fractal of light wave energy that bounces off that vibrates at a certain certain frequency. So, so this microphone, your phone, everything is energy. And, and this electromagnetic energy flows through everything. This electromagnetic energy is in space, it's all galaxy, and it's connected to source, the creator, God, or whatever. So that's what this energy is. And certain people can harness this energy and it flows through them. And then that channels it and then flows through the person that they're working on. Okay, and then so as as individuals were born with it, we 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 inherit trauma a couple of ways. We inherit, we inherit through genetics, through ancestry, and we also create a lot of trauma based off of our environment, off of what what our parents teach us, based off of trauma that goes on in our childhood, and then and then if we don't do a good job. Of, of releasing that trauma as, a, as, as children, which most of the time we're not good at it, it stores in us, okay? It stores in some of those energy centers, those energy centers, our chakras, it stores in it. And then that, 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 that energy starts to grow and it starts to lead with it. And that sets our frequency vibration level, right? And so we're all vibrating at a certain frequency. And our, our, our aim is to clear ourselves of all the trauma and energy that, 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 that's holding us down, that, that's preventing us from elevating so we can have a stronger connection with our higher self and source. And so, and so when we, and sometimes we need a little help in really realizing what energies or what trauma is, is in us and what we need to work on. You know, when we start on this journey and then, and then we've got pain, we've got, we've got illnesses. And so all trauma, is rooted, all pain is rooted in trauma uh, and disease is rooted in trauma. So you gotta find out what it is because what happens is it, that, that trauma perpetuates itself inside of us. It leads to dis-ease, which eventually leads to disease, you know, in certain situations. And so that's what this energy is. And so I'm able to channel this energy at a greater level, you know, because I've been on this journey and 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 I was under the impression several years ago, well, I'm just a typical Reiki master, right? I'm just a typical energetic healer, but that's not the case. Okay, I was born, and I don't know how uh, how in tune your audience or yours with with uh, with numerology, but there's life path numbers, right? And so uh, there are three master numbers, right? There's an eleven, there's a twenty-two, and there's a thirty-three. Christ was a 33, okay? I'm an 11, right? And so what 11 is, 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 is my higher self before I was born said, this, this incarnation, I am going to be blessed with a huge, huge sort of flow of energy from the divine masculine and the divine feminine. And it is, it is enormous, it is intense. And so that energy is going to flow through me any time that I tap into it. And so that'll, that, that, that'll enable me to really go deeper and to, to connect on an energetic level to people that I come across. And so it's, it's, it, for me, it goes a whole lot deeper than just being a Reiki master. So one of the things that I've that, that I found out that I can do is every energy, everything is energy, and energy has a signature or a footprint. So everybody has a signature or footprint. So, so let's say that, that somebody walks up to me and they, and they say something to me that starts to register. Now, I may not do anything with that 
with, with that energetic communication there, but that footprint I store in my subconscious, right? And so it, it has a signature. So let's say I, I meet that person three weeks from, from, from that point, and that person comes back in, and, and that person says they're having a whole lot of more issues, right? So now what I'm able to do is harness that signature that I, that I stored in my subconscious, and then there's a puzzle that I put together based off of this energetic signature that person's giving me at the time that I'm talking to them then. And so then I, it's, it's like a map. It's like a puzzle. And so, and so I'm able to do that. And, and so as, as I've been really working on the gift that I have, I'm able to just walk in and I, and I can, it's like a map and I can put things together. And, and sometimes I use it right then, or sometimes I know that I'm going to use it at a later date. And then that's when I, and that's when I use it. And so that's, that's, that's really uh, how I'm able to help people more than just uh, the energetic Reiki master. I love that, but I knew that there was more to me than just that. And, and it's been, it's been an amazing journey for me to get to the point where I'm finding out the reality and trueness of what I am. I absolutely love that. I literally have so many questions from what you just said. Fire away. My first question is the life force energy. I know our life force energy lives within our root chakra. So if somebody, because I get a lot of questions about Zen, my root chakra and grounding, how can I ground? Would seeing a recce master really support that? Because it sounds like it would. Is there well, like a well, correlation there? Well, well, the root chakra is, 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 is a small part of it. So it's not really, life force energy flows through all the everywhere. So there's, there's life force energy in all of our chakras. Right. And, and what really drives all of the other chakras is the heart chakra. The heart chakra is that sort of organizer, the, the, the really the corporate person that, that, that manipulates that. So if that's blocked, then everything else doesn't work as well. And so that's that's the energetic flow that we get now. And so we, we look at you know, certain situations or traumas that affect us that 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 sort of hold themselves in, in the root or the sacral or the solar plexus or the throat or whatever or whatever incident. And then those are the, what we should be working on. So it's like eating the elephant one piece at a time. And I think some people want to really be really in a rush to get to the finish line. But but elevated consciousness journey is never like that. And so um, I want to I want to say you're always in a position to learn no matter what level you are. I learn every day. And, and, and this energetic field, um, the atoms, and, and so that each atom is, there's 99.999% empty space, an atom, right? So that's, so that, that, so, so less than 0.1% of an atom is actual matter. And everything is made up of atoms, you, everything, right? This whole gap, this whole universe is, is, is made up of atoms. So, so the trauma, what we're living off of, is less than 0.1% of reality, if you put that in perspective. So everything else. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We're living on, say that one more time. Just want to make sure I heard that accurately. <laughs> so, so atoms are 99.999% empty space. We, okay. We've done the math. Okay. I mean, so, so it is, it is, it is, it is, it's verified. And so everything is made up of atoms, right? That's everything is made up of atoms, right? And so really, so, so the reality that we're living in is less than 0.1% of reality. Which means that, like, what does that mean? Does that Because when I that hear means, that, I'm thinking we're, we're fully not living in our greatest potential ah, there and you awareness go. and unconsciousness. So, so what, what, what's, what's in that empty space? Energy. Life force energy. Okay. Consciousness. We okay. call it, the, the spiritual call it conscious, a, a, a consciousness. Scientific calls it the quantum field. They're the same. Okay. That quantum field is what we need to tap in more times than not. So every day we need to tap in that, 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 that free space field of energy that we're that we're looking to tap into 
Now, how do we get there? First, we got to clear the road of all of the, 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 the trauma that binds us up because that energetic flow comes from our root chakra, comes the base of our spine, goes all the way up and goes out of our crown. That, that's an energetic flow, okay? And so we, we have to understand that. And then our heart is the one sort of manufacturer or gauge, it's not our mind, it's not our ego, it's our heart, that judges, that discerns. So if we discern with our heart and understand that anything that we're faced with, we're able to discern it with our heart, that's that's what we need to do. And so and so we need to tap into that 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 that, that space with all that energy, all of that consciousness, that quantum field. And then because in that is infinite knowledge. There's not enough space in us to hold all of that energy of knowledge. So that means that we are constantly evolving every day. Every day, everything that happens to us is a lesson. We have to learn to sit in the experience of what's happening presently. And people have a hard time doing it. We can do nothing about what, 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 what happens tomorrow or a month from now or anything history is gone. And unless we, 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 help, we, we sort of hold up trauma for it, we have to, and, and if we don't, we don't worry about it. So we have to really sit present in a life experience of what the universe is providing us because there's a lesson there. There's always a lesson there. And that's what we have to do. So, so that's the challenge for us from an energetic level to tap into that. And, 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 and a lot of the people that I talk to, I ask them a question, do you meditate? Well, I do it every now and then. And, and, so, and so I don't give them a whole list of responsibilities. I give them one thing. And, 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 and I tell them, for the next 30 days, I want you to meditate every day. However you, think, however you feel you need to meditate, right? Because that meditation does a whole myriad of things. It sure does. Yes, and, it and does. That, that's a podcast in itself. And so, and so, but, but, but if people engage in that consistently, I think they'll get to the point where they start realizing things that are, that, that are welled up inside them that they need to understand and face. And sometimes, and then once they do that, they'll have a stronger connection with their higher self. And, 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 and I've, and I've seen most of the people just say, I just, I just thought, I just felt I need to come in. That means you're doing the work. Higher self says, now you need a little help to free of yourself of some of this stuff that's inside of us. And so that's, that's, that tells me that you have been, you've been doing some work. 1000%. You had mentioned, and I say this all the time, I'm like astrology is in the Bible. And I loved how you had mentioned about the stars and who, G, who Yeshua actually learned from. And you mentioned um, Reiki with the energy of the hands. Is that where the whole concept in Christianity of laying on the hands came from? Yes. Yes. And, and, and so and so Christ had an amazing aptitude in 13 years old. I mean, he he uh, uh, him and uh, Mary, they because Mary and, and, and husband Joseph, they were in a, they were in a scene. And so we don't know that. And so and so when Herod was trying to you know search for him, they spent a lot of time with the Essenes and the Essenes had master teachers and with astrology. They talked about they knew the stars. They knew mathematics they knew all that. Jesus, so everybody knows, had an amazing aptitude to learn. So he was a, he, he got to a point to where at 13, he knew more than the masters of these scenes. So then, you know, uh, uh, Joseph of Arimathea was actually Mary's brother. And he was a rich guy. The Romans respected him because he mined tin and he knew where, and he didn't ever reveal where his tin mines are. So everybody respected him. So, so he, they, they, he took them all around. The Egypt spent a lot of time in Egypt, Egyptian mysteries, learned, learned about the ancient the land of Kim, about what they do before the, 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 the flood and all of that. And then and then some of the, the people that were still around in Atlantis and all of that, they migrated to, to Egypt and Kim, Kim built the pyramids 
and all of that, and then and then built energetic sort of highways and all of that. And so there's there's mysteries and and spiritual practices in Egypt. There's and then Tibet and 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 so Tibet, uh, they kept a book, uh, a scrolls, and it is the Gospel of the Holy Twelve. I have it now. It's a very rare book, and it talked about Jesus in his pre twenties and wherever he went. And so they hid it in, in Tibet. And so it was translated and I have the book. And so that's how I learned about that. And so he, he traveled a lot. And so, but he also knew, he also knew when, when him and his disciples went into a village and that there was a person that was ill because of karma. He knew. Now what he couldn't do, what, and what he could not do you, you can't, there's universal laws, right? There's all, there's universal laws in this universe that the law of attraction, there's law of, you know, uh, cause and effect. There's a, there's, there's a bunch of universal laws, right? And so he knew when he couldn't heal a person because they were incarnated because of some karma that they did in a past life. And see, they don't tell you that. So, so that's, so that's. Oh, that was good. a nugget. Did y'all look, rewind that and jot that down. That was a nugget right there. Go ahead, Lynn. Yeah, yeah. And, and so he he really talked about the God is in you. He says, everything I can do, ever do, you can do. But there's a journey to us getting there. And so we have to understand what we have to do internally. And, and we are we are the gods. The spark of the creator and the source is in every in us. So that means we have the ability to do that. So 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 the person sitting next to me has that ability, just like me. Now maybe I was incarnated to 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 really help people move along, but 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 it still starts. And so I've had the last nine eight or nine incarnations were 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 just created for me to get to this point here. The lessons that I learned. So I can go in and autom automatically now that I'm to a level that I'm really tapped in to source and higher self, I remember things that, okay, how do I know this? Because there's a past incarnation that I learned this. And then that's where the map comes in. That, that's where I can put puzzles together. And so that, that, that's, that's been really exciting and interesting getting to this point. So I fought it. Trust me. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm like any other you know, normal person. I fought it. But but that that that's an amazing, an amazing and marvelous journey. It was challenging, but now that I look back on it, it was utterly amazing. Now I gotta ask you about my life path number. My life path number is nine. I would love to hear your insights on the number nine. See, 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 see now see now you're see nine. Now you're getting to that strong. You have to be strong in your your, your discernment, your abilities. See, now you're, you're, you're really, so is this nine? Now, if this is successful, now you may be jumping into a, to a master number the next, next life. So, so not, there's a lot of nines that are uh, healing practitioners. There's a lot of nines. I had a, uh, uh, what is Reiki session in, in December? And it was powerful. And I talked about some of this and we got really deep and there was people that were really emotional and really let off some, some energy and some trauma there. A lot of those people were nine, nine. So, so, so nines are, you are created to really understand who you are and, and, and maneuver through the challenges of that because now there's going to be some, some times where you're not real confident in your approach and, and, and your actions, but you are here for a purpose and you are here to understand and embrace the reality of you are, of who you are. So that's what nines are. Nines are, you're, you're really tipping the scale. You've done a lot of sort of work in past lives and now you're getting to, the nine is like, okay, okay, now I'm getting to the, to the nuggets. So next life you may be a, who knows, you may be a master number. You know, you may, you may be an 11 or 22 or whatever. There's a lot of, there is a lot. You'd be surprised on how many master numbers there are for people that are here. And and and, and one of the things, I, 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 I think I did a, my first post, live post uh, back end of last year. And, and I was starting to 
really jump in the space of opening up because I'm, I'm an introvert. And so I've, I've, I've had to work towards really getting myself comfortable with, with going live and, and speaking what I have and what I know. And, and this whole Kyrie Irving thing was happening, uh, uh, you know, back then. Yeah. And, so, and so he was, you know, I'd seen videos where he was saging the, the, the basketball arena and all of that kind of stuff. My higher self says, look up his life path number. He's an 11. He's a master number. And, and so, and, and so, and I had just gone through this, right? And so as you go through this journey, there, there's, there's this desire. I used to think, well, I can do both because I had a great job. I'm making a lot of money, right? And, and I'm a director of, of, of the corporate, I'm a director. And, and so I started out believing, well, I can do both. I'm going to use some of my abilities to, to help those at my job. And I did that successfully. But the beginning of last year, I told my boss, and, and, I, and I'm this control guy, that I got to get out of this, this, this characterization and, and really be more flexible. And, and, and Jamaica, my wife, she's total opposite. Talk about the yin and yang. She's, she's total opposite of me, right? But I'm, I'm telling my boss, okay, at the end of the year, I'm walking away. Because, okay, okay, I got all this year to do it. And as January, February, March, April, and May come up, I get increasingly angry about the job. And I'm, and I'm doing well. And, and, as, and, and, as, and as successful, more successful I get in the job, I'm director, make a lot of money, more responsibilities are thrown on me, right? And so I got sick in July for two weeks, right? And this was, uh, I said, 2020, I got... Uh, uh, I got COVID, right? And I got, uh, we went to Disney and we all caught COVID. I came back, I'm in an intensive care. I almost died, right? And yeah, our, yeah. And, and so uh, the ambulance guy said, if you would have waited another five minutes, he would have been gone. Wow. So that first night I was in intensive care. My, you, know, you know my wife, Jamaica, she's a bull. And, and it's a COVID war. You ain't supposed to be in, the intensive care room. Well, she's in there, right? She's in the room. And because she's not taking no for an answer. And that first night in intensive care, I'm telling her all kinds of things. I'm like visitor spirits visiting me. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm just rattling off stuff to her. Right. Now bear in mind, I'm 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 in and out of consciousness. So I don't my breathing is is real low. My oxygen levels are real low. But I'm I'm just telling her this stuff, right? And so she's she's like, because she had quit her job a month before we went to Disney, because she says, it's time for us to open up the business. And she's and she's getting a little frustrated because I'm I'm dragging my little, I'm dragging my butt, right? And so that night in intensive care, I, I told her, I'm done. Right. It's time to open it says it's time to open up, it's time for me to be who I am. And I, I'm, I'm I'm in guides and my grandfather's there, they're talking to me, right? And 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 90% of the stuff I don't remember. She remembers hundred percent of what I said, right? And so three weeks later, and my left lung collapsed. While I'm in, while I'm Your in, the, left lung collapsed. Left lung collapsed. Yep, and and I and 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 not one time did they put me on a ventilator, because, you know, she calls me, said, "Baby, you need to meditate." So I meditate, I'm in the bed and all of that, and they call her, and they 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 call. Well, we may have to put him on a ventilator, and then they call the next day. His oxygen levels are increasing. I don't know what's going on. So I've never I never had to put on a ventilator. So three weeks later. I walk out of there. I don't. I'm not. I don't have to be on oxygen or anything. I take about two and a half months to rehab because I'm weak and all of that. And she she doesn't really say anything. And then November time frame, she walks up. She walks in in my office and she says, "Do you remember what you said?" And I says, "Barely." And then she starts to say all of this, right? And and so I looked at her and says, "Well, let's let's go find a place." And less than thirty days later. We had a soft opening December 15th of 2021 uh, about what we need to do. And we had a soft opening. And so, and so that was the thing. I mean, and the first place she went to, Spirit told her this is a place. And it was a dance studio. It was, it was, it was terrible looking inside. Dead bugs, it, it, stuff everywhere. Spirit you wouldn't said, know it now because y'all got it so immaculate in there. But this is her vision. And she single-handedly did all of that. You know, we, we financed it. We, 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 all of that, we, we did all of this stuff. And so, 
And so we and so she's running the business in January of, of last year. And, I, and I'm like I said, I'm saying, OK, I'm, 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 I'm walking away because I'm like, OK, I got a plan here. You know, divine plan is my, my plan, but it's divine, you know. And so and so like I said, as, as a month, I'm getting more angry. And so July, I got sick again. I lost my voice for two weeks. Right. And, and I should have understood then. But, I'm, you know, me, I'm hard. Everybody's hard headed to a point. And I'm, I, I am, too. And so July uh, went and came and gone. And I'm, I'm just angry. I'm miserable. And August is a year came and it was a year anniversary of me getting sick. Right. And I can remember it to this day. My boss, I am me, gave me another responsibility. Right. And I just answered him. I said, I can't do all of this. I said, we're going to have to pick something to take out. And he just, he was very, he's, you know, he's direct. I mean, he's, 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 he's a, you know, you know, president of the company. So he says, he pragmatically, he just answered, well, I need you to, you know, sort of prioritize the list and then we'll, we'll meet and we'll, we'll discuss something that we need to take out. And that's all he said. I snapped. I'm talking curse words flying, uh, I'm in, my, I'm in my office in my desk, tears coming down. And and I kind of walked out of the office and, and my wife was upstairs and she was laying in the bed. It was a Thursday, so the center was closed. And she was in the bed with my grandson. And I walked in and I says, baby, I can't do this anymore. And I has tears in my eyes. She looked at me and she says, baby, you said that a year ago. And so we we talked about it. We talked about finances or how we're going to do it. There's a whole lot of fear for me because I'm like, I got this mortgage. I got all of this. Of course. Of course. Spirit says, and, 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 you know, when, when, when somebody says, because my wife 10 years ago when, when we were up, she says, the energy that you have is what Christ had. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah, you, you, yeah that's some, yes, yeah, that, that, that's some big and, shoes, right? <laughs> And, 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 the, and the, the teacher that taught me and my Reiki, Reiki master taught me, she told me, you're going to do, you're going to be worldly known. And, and so when people tell you that and you're not there yet, my, my wife is different. She just says, okay, I'm going to be there. I'm like, I got to do all I'm of this. I'm going to too fast. <laughs> I got I to gotta do all of this. It's so, easy for many people. Yeah, it can be yeah. of the, you th- because you think of the, especially because, you know, you're an earth sign, right? And there's a lot of earth placements. Mm-hmm. You're thinking the logicalness of it, the practicality yeah. of it, all that it takes to, yes. to, to be that, to do that, all that's involved within it. Facts. Yes. And, and so all of that was, was creeping into my, into my ego, into my mind. And then, and then, you know, you, you know, creator has a way of rattling the cage a little bit. You don't listen to rattle the cage a lot. And so, and so I finally listened and walked away. And I can honestly tell you, Zen, that from August to now, and, and I've had a lot of growth in the 15 to 20 years that I've been, I've been doing, I've been in this journey. From August to, to now, is the greatest amount of growth and spiritual consciousness elevation that I've had since I began. And it's a, and, and I tell people, it's amazing how you can grow when you get rid of the energy that you no longer need. And, and that may be energy mm. that may not necessarily be, you know, uh, crippling, but nevertheless, it may be energy that you're taking, that's taking up space that you need to release so that more sort of energetic energy, vibration raising energy can replace it so that you can tap in a little bit deeper. And, and so that's, that's, that's what I've learned to do. And, and this energetic signature that I learned, I would have never known that I can do that if I didn't walk away from the job because I was holding space for stuff I no longer needed. 